Hey guys, welcome to Upfront Games, and today we got a couple new trailers, a couple non existent trailers, and a whole lot of information coming from the big four. So let's jump into it with PlayStation and start with their trailer for the week. It is Hunt Down. future where crime rules the streets when the citizens are in trouble they call the authorities when the authorities are in trouble they call the bounty hunters showtime anaconda she knows the meaning of life ha, ha, ha. that's why she can take it away so easily I'll blow your head off. her jacket size says 38 special and her favorite smell is fear. Die! <laughs> John Sawyer, cyborg. He's been a man since he was a boy. Enjoy your flight. Everything he owns is made out of metal. Oh, reliable. His blood type spells AK-47. Get out of my sight! Though he only donates other people's blood. <laughs> yeah. Horror has a name. It's Mo Man, but those who stand in the killer machine's path know him by the name Grim Reaper. Why don't they just sterilize the population? He knows everything except mercy. Empathy module not responding. When Mo Man looks at you, you look at your grave. Batter up, strike. You may hunt down those who have it coming. Get up, do your job! Too bad, they all have it coming. <laughs> the hoodlum dolls. Yeah! The misconducts. The heat seekers. The number one suspects. Hunt them down and make a healthy living by making living. Unhealthy. In. Hunt down. Alright guys, it was Hunt Down, so if you want to get your nostalgia on, by all means pick that up. It is available this week. So, uh, Codemasters let Dirt 5 out of the bag, and there are some features that are said to make it more than just an off-road racer. The vibe of Dirt 5 feels like you're stepping into a brand new culture. The game wants to see you, how you win, not just that you win. Um, styling with bold color schemes and rhythmic transitions, the career mode drops you into a deep narrative experience with big personalities and major obstacles. So you can play offline modes from the couch with four player split screen and of course online you can enter race events from around the world with more to be revealed soon on how the online mode is going to flush out. Also, uh, finally, Dirt 5 is said to amplify the experience of dirt racing. Stay tuned for its release in October if you're a dirt fan. Uh, by all means, check that out. Now, uh, two major titles that were kind of in the air as far as release dates have been clarified. The Last of Us Part 2 will launch June 19th, and Ghost of Tsushima will launch on July 17th. This is great news as those titles look amazing, and now I can't wait till summer. Moving from PlayStation into Xbox, Xbox's trailer for the week is Tactical Champs. Check this out. Tactical Champs looks kind of a cool overhead uh, shooter. So, uh, NetherRealm Studios has announced a massive update to Mortal Kombat 11 titled Aftermath. It expands by adding a brand new story campaign. You can enter the fight with three new combatants, including Fusion, Shiva, and Robocop. 
And now if you already own the game, you will also receive new stage fatalities and four new stages, including the Soul Chamber, Deadpool, Chronica's Keep, and the Retrocade. Also, returning our friendships, and it will be live on May 26th. Now, the cool thing about this is Retrocade is actually bringing back a lot of the old levels from Mortal Kombat. So it'll be cool to see how that flushes out. Moving on, Forza Street is now available for iOS and Android devices. It allows you to jump on to or into new under a minute races and dominate events as you upgrade and reach for the top. If you download between today and June 5th, you will receive the 2017 Ford GT and added in-game credits and gold. As a bonus, if you're downloading from the Galaxy Store, you'll receive the 2015 Mustang GT with custom paint. And if you have the Samsung Galaxy S20, you will also get a Corvette Z06 with custom paint. So there's that from Microsoft. And there is no trailer this week for Nintendo or for Stadia, but moving directly into Nintendo, Animal Crossing New Horizons has already passed Nintendo's lifetime sales predictions, selling 11.77 million copies in the first 12 days, making it the best start ever for a Switch title. In the first six weeks, it had surpassed 13.41 million copies sold, and 50% of those sales were digital. Now. That being said, the title has overtaken Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is still out in front at the moment with 24.77 million sales. And with the way things are going, it looks like this could very well turn into the highest grossing title for Switch. Now, uh, Nintendo is working to correct some network issues as lockdowns have affected the amount of people they're actually using that service and Nintendo states to aware of the issues accessing its network services and it's working to address the issue. They also said on Twitter that they hope to share an update when available. There's no telling when this will be fixed for everybody. However, stay tuned to their Twitter if you would like to have any information on it going forward. Now moving into Stadia, again Stadia no release, but Stadia has let some titles coming to Stadia out of the bag recently, and there are four of them. Two new titles from Thunder Lotus Games, Jotan Valhalla Edition, and Sundered Eldritch Edition. In addition to these, two other titles that have been touted are Dirt 5 and Chorus, which is actually pretty amusing to me because I just assumed, based on Xbox's latest event, um, or video on YouTube, however you want to look at it, that that Chorus was exclusive. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Um, that Chorus was exclusive to Xbox. However, that doesn't seem to be the case. And finally, earlier this week, Stadia launched wireless controller support online, and it's now getting another boost with HDR listed for compatible devices. Now HDR is not quite ready, but it is being worked on for release. Now on the controller support online, just keep in mind, that's not just saying, hey, it works now like as a whole. If you use Stadia on a web browser, they're saying that the wireless controller support, the wireless Stadia controller will work on a web browser now. So uh, by all means, check that out if you have one. Um, I know I will at some point, um, not right away, but I will. Um, anyway, that is it, guys. So by all means, like, comment, subscribe, and share this with those that might be interested in the news on a weekly basis. And we will catch you next week. Have a good one.